going for a hunt like this has really been a long time coming, and it's been ever since the update that reduced the amount of hunting pressure that bows cause. I've wanted to get out here on Layton and just basically hunt with all bows, so our loadout consists of the Hawk Edge, the Orpheus, and the Razorback, and we've got one of the different arrows in each, so we have the 600 grains with the Hawk Edge, the 420s with the Orpheus, and the 300s with the Razorback, and we're just going to see what we can manage on Layton, and just for like an added bit of challenge, we're doing this in multiplayer just so if we do find something good, we can't kind of reset the time and use that to allow us to get close with the bow. If we spook something, we're going to have to deal with it being nervous. There's a definite aspect of time to this hunt that really isn't there for a normal gun hunt. Because it does take so long to actually call animals in and get them into bow range and take them down, we're naturally going to be a little more picky about what we actually go after. But in this case, I don't think it's a very difficult choice. We have a monistic white-tailed doe out in this herd. And there's actually a lot of bucks, and there's at least one that was up into the max weight range, but definitely we're going to try to get the doe. I think it will be interesting because there's so many deer, and trying to call them in, they might kind of end up getting in our way. But the fact that it's a doe, a lot of times they come in first, so it might not be too bad. As long as she'll kind of keep doing what she's doing. She's way out ahead. I'd like to actually get her closer and maybe get a screenshot or two. Just because you really don't see this that often. And because there's so many bucks, that would have been so cool to actually have a Melanus sick whitetail buck instead of a doe. But we've done pretty good with rare whitetail, so can't complain about that. Maybe she'll actually come out onto the left side there. Could actually get a pretty decent picture of that. It's just so cool to see that. But since she's broadside, and since there's deer all over, maybe if we can get her to stop for a second, could kind of just go for that. It's probably in like the area of 30 meters. She doesn't even know we're here. If she would just stand still. I think that's going to be straight into her lungs. And a pretty cool way to start this. I mean, we are about 45 minutes in. Like I said, being a little more particular with what we actually choose to go after just because it does take the time to actually stock in and get them. But, Malinistic Doe shot her in the left lung there. And this is one of those things. Like, usually I don't bother to taxonomize rare females. But I've maybe had one of these ever, and if it ever happens to where they make a multi-mount that does take, like, a white-tailed doe, I definitely want to have that ready to go. It seemed to take, like, a really long time to get that herd to come in with the melanistic. And once again, I'm sitting here calling, and these white-tailed are just not responding, so I guess we'll try to take one out. I don't see any that are that special, although that one on the far right is definitely the best. Hadn't seen that one until just now. And I have no idea, like, how we're going to get a shot in there. That guy right there, he's definitely higher scoring than everything else. I'm not sure how we're going to do this, but we're going to find some kind of way. And I do have the range finding site, which might be useful here. So we'll equip that. We'll see if we can get some kind of angle to at least see him. So luckily, reeds were pretty well placed to actually get in here to 40 meters. I think that shouldn't be an issue, even 0 for 40. We can still spot him. And just like that, we have our second white tail down. First one that's actually a buck. And at his size, he should be a guaranteed gold. Not too bad. And we were very close to aiming too high there, so... I should probably dial that down a little, but... Just got enough to get along. Ooh. That not only is a level 5 elk. That's the rack that I've been wanting to get. And of course, as I talked about at the beginning, if we spook an animal, we can't just simply reset the time back. We're in multiplayer, so we're stuck with trying to deal with whatever he wants to do. And for the moment, especially because we're in the open, we're going to wait and see if he wants to come back. Because we have a pretty good spot. He's kind of forced across right there. And we could just sort of sit in this brush right in front of us. And I think be in a pretty decent position. So we'll sit around a while and see. He's just now going nervous. Hopefully he's going to want to come back. I mean, I guess that's a pretty decent result as well. He's just going to nervously feed there. We can at least crawl into here, I'm pretty confident, and then start working our way through that brush. It's going to be kind of a spot and stock thing, and especially with him being right in there, we're going to have to get a good position to make sure we don't just shoot the brush. But I think we can manage this. So alerting him may have been an issue because now he's just trying to, I think, get back here. If we could just make it to the reeds in front of us, we'll be okay, but 
I'm not sure we're going to get that far unless he stands still for quite a while. Like this right here, that stuff we can hide in. And that might be okay. Otherwise, I'm not so sure. He's going to stop again. Maybe we can get there. He's coming right our way, though. I think we're best just waiting on him. That's about 30. Still doesn't even know we're here. He's going alert. Let's see. Zero for 20. If we can. Just stick a arrow right in his heart. That is not how I thought that was going to go, but pretty cool. I've not seen... This is like the smaller rack for a level 5 elk. And I've not seen a level 5 with these... I think since they basically fixed them and made it to where they could reach diamond again. So, he was up to 390. I think diamond is like 380 or something, so fingers crossed. Hey, 383 with a pretty low weight. So he made it by less than 3 total. But not bad. Hard shot with a bow. Sure didn't think that was going to be a part of today's video, but... Yeah, I like this rack better than like the big diamond rack, and we have two of those. So that's definitely going to be a nice addition. We'll have to find somewhere good for him. I think it was such a good opportunity. We should actually take our chance to try to get one of the jackrabbits with a bow. Because we're not going to get a lot of chances to try to use the 300 grain arrows. If he would actually stop for a second. He's definitely within range. Of course, right behind that's not going to help us. But at least we can actually take something out. And of course, the main reason we have these are just in case a level 3 rabbit would show up or like a level 3 duck. But we got a gold out of him. I'd actually like to try to maybe go for like a longer range shot with a range finding sight on a duck, but again, we've not had a lot of opportunities in any that are actually worth the time to stock in close to. I'm kind of thinking we might need the range finder sight for this because we've started calling and they're all just kind of standing around. The wind wouldn't be awful and 80 meters is definitely doable. So that I think is the biggest one. I want to keep him spotted if we can. Zero for 60. Can we even see to do this? That's at 104. Okay, that should be more like what we need. And he just dropped. Alright, not too bad. The calling has been super inconsistent. And with a lot of animals, it just seems like they don't want to come in, which has made it even more like time consuming to actually get within range. But if we can do stuff like that, that's not going to be nearly as bad. I mean, that looks just about perfect. Maybe a little bit back, but it's actually a better shot, I think, than the closer range one on the gold we shot earlier. This guy was too below gold. I thought he might have had a chance. But pretty uh, good way to switch it up and go for a longer shot instead of getting super close. So we're going to have to wait, I think, at least until he goes to alert. Because if he's alarmed, he might actually hear the bow shot and then flee. But I want to go for another long shot, pretty much just because I like the rack. And now that he's down to just alert, the wind is blowing pretty hard to the right, which isn't going to help us. But, 113 meters. We definitely hit him. It actually, it looked about right. Let's see if he goes down quickly. I'm going to guess it's just a little too low. Because the bows bring them down pretty quick, even with a poor hit. But, that wasn't too bad for the range. I can't see that being anything possibly vital, but still, managed to make a pretty long shot there. Well, that's not the best look for the arrow. I think we were close. Just a little too far back, and we sort of aimed that way to deal with the wind. Still would have just been a silver. I actually wasn't aware the max weight estimate ones could be. Good to know, but yeah, I don't think we had to compensate for the wind at all, and we'd have been fine. I'm still not really sure if this guy's coming into my call or just happening to pass through here. But, if he's going to stop right there, I think we might just try to take him. Maybe he's going to try to trot off. I don't think he is coming to the call. But, we can still get him. I don't know if we hit too high there. Probably caught him in the vertebrae. But, not really a big deal. He just happened to be a level 1 and one of those deer that we just have to go for. And being like right on 40 meters, I kind of wish we just went with the single pin sight. Because we did hit him in the vertebrae at 37 meters. 61 score for that guy, but he just seemed to be going elsewhere. And especially because calls just aren't that effective today. I don't know if it's a multiplayer issue or why a lot of animals just aren't responding to them. But figured we better have that range finding sight on just in case. 
And I think on that note, we're actually going to head back to the Trophy Lodge because animals really not responding to calls has slowed us down quite a bit. We're four hours into this, but we have a diamond elk to throw in there, and I'm actually quite happy with that, especially for, like I said, animals not actually seeming to want to come in. The fact that we managed that today was pretty cool. I like that so much better than what we had with the kind of like uneven horns albino water buffalo. And we have another one right there anyway, but it just adds to like all the antlers we have in this room in a pretty unique way. It's the only elk in this entire room, I think. We have the moose back there from the stream. I like this room a lot now. And definitely it was finally good to get a smaller diamond Roosevelt elk because like I said, that's my favorite rack. I like that better than the bigger diamond rack. And to get it with a bow, with a hard shot the way that went. That was actually really, really cool. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.